Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Hot Wheels TV. Today, we're gonna take a tour of my Hot Wheels room that everybody is always asking about. So uh, let's go see what I have. First thing we're gonna do is, these are my Guinness World Records. I only have two of them up right now. This is the Ripley's. When I was in the Ripley's book, I was actually in the Ripley's book twice. And uh, let's see, what is this one here? This is my very first book signing at Barnes and Noble. Um, and that is just one of the posters that they, oh, actually that was at SEMA. Yeah, that was at the SEMA show. Uh, they're giving those posters away. And actually they're giving one, a copy of my book away too uh, at SEMA for that year. That was the year that, uh, that Hot Wheels were uh, hosted the SEMA show. So, all right, let's go downstairs and uh, I will show you my Hot Wheel room. Alrighty, so let's go down. Oh, hey, look at that good looking guy right there. <laughs> that, is, uh, that is from, I believe, when I was at the Watkins Glen and uh, we did a promotion there. There's my second book. And let's start with the coloring stuff. There is uh, like a Play-Doh set, coloring set, uh, crayon by number, some crayons, more crayons, a whole bunch of crayons there. There's uh, all different colors of the crayons, of course, for each car. Uh, there is a quite rare Crack Ups Wipeout set. The remote control car hauler. Um, G Force. There's a, let's see, one, two, three, four, five different G Force sets. There are the convertibles, a couple of convertible cars. There is the Streaks and the Streaks track set. Um, test tracks. There is one of the crisscross crashes, an early one, the dinosaur jump and a spin out, double barrel set, some top speed, uh, Hot Wheels snaps model kits, and some uh, Hot Wheels playing cards. They're not well. They're not playing cards. They're collector cards. There is a top speed. Two pack that goes with uh, with the top speed set down there. There is a oh, there's another model. There is a crash pile set track set and another double barrel set right there to go with that one. And there is a cap blasting set or a cap blasting play set, I guess. Um, that is a U.S. one, it's not a Canadian one. There is the three-level parking garage. The uh, All-American Car Showcase Collection. I think that was from uh, Cirrus Merchandise, maybe? I don't, I don't remember, it's been a while. Here is uh, some Heelys. Remember those? You, there were sneakers that you hit a button and the uh, uh, wheels came out. And there's some... We uh, skate roller skates, uh, early lunchbox, another lunchbox, aftermarket, uh, like, like a Hallmark uh, reproduction of the lunchbox. There is the alarm clock and watch, and just a handful of different conventions and shows that I've been at. There is the uh, USA starter set one. I have all of those, but I only have room for, for this one. There is Cap Blastin Bridge Blaster, which goes with the Cap Blastin down there. Uh, let's see, we got Dash and Crash track set. We got a couple of parking plates. This is a that is a stopwatch, Hot Wheels stopwatch. There is a dynamite crossing set, and that is the 
the truck that goes with it, the A-Team van. Here is the 20th anniversary carry around car case and display set. There is a Superman, I'm sorry, <laughs> Superman, Spider-Man, Web of Terror. And that is a really, really cool track set. And here's some of the, some of the cars from The Heroes. And Snake and Mongoose set from, uh, I want to say, what, 93, 94. And I like the different track set cars. You can see the uh, different color interiors on this one, and different color interiors on that one, different color paint. There are different tampos on the Camaro, different tampos on the one in the back there, the white one. Those are playset cars also. Porsche from the G-Force. I want to which one would that be? Uh... I don't think any one of those, probably one of the other G-Forces that I haven't put out. There is the Jump Buster set and the Wild Wave set. And some more track set cars. That is the, this right here is the Ferrari that goes with that set right there. Uh, let's see, we got my blue car, or actually my collector numbers stuff right there. They only go up to uh, 244. That's all I have room for on the wall. On this wall. I used to have them all on the other wall. And that was right before the, before the flood, which was not cool at all. There we go. Uh, let's see, four car gift pack. The Crack Up Smash and Toe gift pack. Body Swappers. Construction gift pack. The uh, Off Road gift pack. That one is a, a Canadian one. You can tell by the, by the French language. And yeah, let's see. FAO Schwartz Gold Series 2. Play settings. There is the uh, firefighter scene, that one is the camping scene, and that one is the city scene. Those are kind of kind of hard to come by. And here is the FAO Schwartz Gold Series 3. Here are some of my uh, color changers or color FX cars. There is a loop and splash micro track set and there's the full size loop and splash track set color FX there are some more color FX there are a couple of the trucks without trailers there's the long nose that's that that uh, casting is the rarest of the of those between that and the flat nose there's belt buckle. And let's see, go back over here. There is the flat nose or the cab over. Kenworth, maybe. There is a, uh, what are those called? It's, it's wallpaper, wall border. That goes way back. There is uh, inside track playset. And. That is the, actually that's the Jump Masters set, and I got the Bronco on there. There's the Flying Bronco that the guys from Mattel gave me at, uh, at the convention a while back. There's Jump Masters set, Snake Mountain Challenge, uh, Color Racers, Auto Paint Factory, and like I said, that's the, the Jump Masters set, track set, right there. And whoop, there you go. All right, what else we got here? We got the the beginning of of the collector number stuff. And I got the the blue cards and I got the blue and white cards in there uh, because they are 
part of the collector numbers and they are variations. So uh, you can see that some of them only came on the blue and white card. And I do have a bunch over on the other side of the room that I haven't put in here. You know, with this setup, you know, once you put everything in there, it's a total pain in the butt to get stuff out of there and change it. And especially right there, the, uh, the snow plow, I got a bunch of those that I got to add into that line. Also got the, the different... Uh, Corvette right there, Monster Vet. Got to put that in. I got the different wheels. There is the uh, Hot Bird. Got a couple of them I got to put in. There you go. Number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. Those are, I'm pretty proud of this. This is what actually started my first book was, uh, was collector numbers and the variations. All right, let's go back over here. Uh, Five pack display, the Hot Wheels album, got cargo plane, cargo plane, cargo plane, cargo helicopter, uh, and another cargo plane. We got these are the these are the remakes of the Sizzlers cars. We did an episode on them the other day, my my granddaughter Paisley and I. This is uh Corkscrew, Thrill Drivers Corkscrew set with the uh, with Cobras, Cobra Mustang, Mustang Cobras. Got that from our buddy Joe Wiggins. A construction site, remakes of the uh, of the early early stuff. And these are definitely not remakes. These are all original of the workhorses. I have them all in there on display. And we got trains. You guys know I love trains. This one right here is is the second rarest one. That is the uh, Banjo Flats. And there is the uh, Timberland Express. These are all the singles. This right here, sealed. I love that. I love all that stuff. And this one right here, the Iron Horse, is the hardest one to get. Very, very rare, and uh, you hardly ever see them come up. And it's probably because it's a steam locomotive, and kids really didn't go for that. So, uh, who knows? Some more of the singles. And there is the Northland Express gift pack, and the Freightmaster gift pack. There is the trains to go in the blue box. And this one right here, I'm very, very proud of. That is my Canadian um, freight yard set. There is the um, super rails. And I have one packaged Canadian uh, right there, the shell tanker. I'm looking for any of those if I could find them. Here is the regular, the uh, U.S. release of the freight yard. And the other trains to go. And that is the remake uh, case, the rally case from 2007. Here are the pop-up service station, speed shop, all of that, the, uh, all the different variations. We uh, did a video, uh, an episode on these a while back. See the yellow header and the orange header. Oh, and there is Otto Cooney's signature. He did the artwork on a lot, a lot of Hot Wheels. Here is the Hot Wheels wall display. And I've been searching for that for a long time. Picked it up a couple of years back. Now, each one of these, see the indent right there? Shows the Diora. So I put every single car that the indent was for on there. So there's the T-Bird, the Mustang, uh, and there, uh, each one is supposed to be, you know, whatever's there, the Firebird. <clears throat> and um, that 
one took me a long time to find. Here is a uh, Rumblers set, and of course the Rumblers motorcycle in there. Rumblers case, got that from my buddy Frank. Here's uh, an early Mattel case. And let's see, we got the Master Caster, one of the early uh, make your own kind of Hot Wheel car, but it wasn't a Hot Wheel car. Well, it is a Hot Wheel car, because you can see it's a Hot Wheel car, but it does not say Hot Wheels on it. Um, and there's another one. There is the speedometer. There is the Indy Trail Pack for the um, for the Hot Wheels maker. That is an original 12 car case. Another case, the Bug Bite set. The dual lane speedometer to go with the single lane speedometer. Another car case. There is a Bob Parker signature, my signature, and Mike Wilmot. Here is the Snake and Mongoose Wild Wheelie set. Drag, uh, I'm sorry, the Stunt Action set. The Strip Action set, two of them. The uh, Speed Stunner and Super Chromes. These are all red line. This is all the red line stuff on this side. This is a Canadian um, cup from Jack in the Box, right there. There's a whole bunch of them, uh, 10 or 12 of them, I don't remember offhand. They are really, really rare. Uh, hot Curve Set, the Dual Lane Lap Counter, Jump Set, Bridge Set, another car case, uh, another car case, Hot Wheels Puzzle. There is the Revers uh, Race Trap Set, Rod Runner. Now, the Hot Wheels, or the, the Revers Race Trap Set, you can see me buying that in the 50th anniversary show on the History Channel. There's Rod Runner. There is the Locomotion, the Double Dual Speedway. There is the Supercharger Stunt Set, and you can see the the brown uh, splitting image. And actually, I have the brown splitting image down here in my red line stuff. There it is. Uh, right there. And that's got to go back up in the box. All right, while we're down here, there is the talking service station another vinyl pop-up set lots and lots of buttons there we go lots more red line stuff there we go Zowies, another vinyl pop-up, more Zowies, some Rumblers, and uh, Chop Cycles, more Red Lines, Funny Cars with no stickers, there's the stickers, more cool stuff, you guys have seen that picture around here and there, and... Packaged red lines. I only got space for so much stuff, you know? More stuff hanging out, waiting to get put away. Here's some variations. Colors and the tops. Let's see, that's a pretty rare piece there. It's Canadian. There's the other two that I told you about. colors on the cab. One's metal, one's plastic, the wheels. That's pretty rare. The colors on that, the orange. It's also Canadian. Another hot bird, it's got to go up on the, on the wall. 
more stuff. There's that monster vet I was telling you about. Gear wheel on that. Definitely uh, one of my, my, my holy grails for variations. The maroon speed shark. Here is the the turbo streak with the painted wing on it. It's hard enough to get anyway. And this one here has a tampo missing on the side. So that's a pretty cool piece. Alrighty, let's go. Uh, what do we got there? Oh, we didn't do those, did we? That's my original lunchbox in, in, uh, in thermos. Automatic lap counter. Tune-up tower. More of the car carrying cases. That right there is a is a fake. You know, every now and then you guys will see uh, Anita Smith or some of the guys on Redline um, Redline sites talking about fake cards. That is one of them right there. Anita gave me that back when we were doing a TV show called uh, uh, Passion or Obsession, and, uh, and she got taken for that, and uh, so she gave it to me, and uh, that's when we all found out of the cards that are being counterfeited out there so be careful you ever got a question ask people like Anita and uh, and uh, and Woody and those guys that really and uh, Bruce Pascal all those guys that know their red lines a lot better than I do uh, right there that moose mo good old bull ankle that has got a base on it that is the same as pretty much as these right here which is the small shots all right. Um, no, we didn't do the, these guys. These are the. That's the booter set. But um, yeah, these are these are Hot Wheel wheels on there. I've only seen two other pieces. I think it was uh, Mr. Peabody or Sherman, one of them, and another Bowinkle. So if you guys know what that is, let me know because I have no idea. Oh, okay, another collector case. Uh, some more of my stuff. Let's open that up. That right there is a very rare set. Never saw another one before. The only one I've ever seen. Um, those are, of course, the one billionth Hot Wheel trophies. And some... Black wall variations in there. And the big rigger, truck stop. That right there, the Auto Palace. Here's a, I got a funny story about the Auto Palace set. There's the Bigfoot. Um, let's see what else we got here. That is a really hard piece right there with the, the dark blue in the tampo all the way to the right. But yeah, um, had a guy call me, man, long, long time ago. And he had a whole box, uh, cases of the Auto Palace. And he couldn't get rid of them. And he said, I'll give them, I'll give you, you buy a whole case, I'll give them to you for five bucks a piece. Uh, the, the, the packages, and uh, I bought one case, figured I'd never get rid of them, and man, oh man, those things are crazy money right now. I should have bought everything you had, but hey, even but back then, you couldn't even get rid of them. So, ah, there's belts. I have a lot of belts. People always say, you know, what kind of stuff makes up a uh, world record Hot Wheel collection? That, that kind of stuff. You know, I got all kinds of stuff. There's more stuff in there. Oh boy. There are the two picture makers. Different boxes. There is a Chop Cycle Speed Pack. Very rare. Another rally case. Oh, we didn't get that rally case up there. Original rally case. Hotline train case. And, of course, they're in there. Hotline train sets. They're just like sizzlers. Juice machine. And uh, that's where I got the juice machine. The See that empty space right there? 
that is where I got the the one for my granddaughter to play with the other day when we were doing the uh, the Sizzlers episode. And that's still upstairs. She's still playing with it. Uh, Hot Birds. Here is a picture maker, Hot Birds. And there is one of the, the play sets, the flight deck, and of course a couple of Hot Birds. There is the Sizzlers Laguna Oval set. And Speed Machines, they're custom right there with my pretty face on it. Got that from Walker right there. That is uh, that is that is pretty pretty cool. That is Steve Caballero, and uh, all the guys from uh, the skateboard crew that he hangs out with. Walker saw me do an episode on. I couldn't pronounce Caballero, and uh, Walker called him up and said, "Hey, can you uh, can you sign this for my buddy?" And I want to, can I, let me see, uh, Tony Hawk, a whole bunch, you know, some of them I can't read and can't remember right now, but uh, that was pretty cool that Walker did that. He's a pretty cool guy. And let's see, my first book right there. Notice anything different about that one compared to this one? Oh yeah, big story behind that. That one there was the first cover of my very first book, no Hot Wheels logos, just the word, and uh, right there is what it ended up being afterwards, which was really, really cool. There's a whole story behind that. We'll talk about that one, too, in another episode. There is the Altered Roadster when they did it as part of the Drag Strip Demons. It is a Wipeout game. There's some... Uh, Something you can eat off a little plate there, and there is the hot bird on the watch. There's another one, hot bird on the watch. Some shift kickers. There is a rally case original. There is the garbage can, trash can, getaway set. There is the heroes. That is uh, Thor. Turbo Tracks from the 80s. There uh, is the Corvette that goes with it. There's NASCAR Barbie. Turbo Tracks again. That is the car that goes with it, the uh, Fiero. Another Turbo Track set. And uh, this is, uh, I always get stuff from all over the world, which is really, really cool. These are from Australia. And uh, each one was sent to me separately. And um, you can see the little little guy with the, the little kangaroo with the Australian flag. There's some Vegemite. And uh, no, I did not open it. And I will not open it because when they, uh, when my buddy, the slot car guy, sent it to me, he, uh, see this right here? That's, that's little directions on how to eat it. And as I was reading it, I said, nah, I'm not going to eat that. So, but... Uh, there's just some more stuff. Turbo tracks from the 80s. Let's see what we got here. We got Megaforce. Megaforce Desert Strike set. A couple of pieces. Oh, look at that. Megaforce motorcycle prototype. <clears throat> Not going to say anything about that. Um, and let's see. Action Command. There is the Action Command. More Action Command, Dash and Crash, Dinosaur Mud Pit, Photo Finish, uh, another Inside Track. I don't know why I got that out here still. Yeah, Leaping Demons. We got the, the Great American Truck Race. We got Spiral Speedway poster from 84. Quick fire, service merchandise, other stuff, Ultra Hots 4-pack, more stuff, and I had a chance to fill this display up with uh, Hot Wheels trains, a little bit here, a little bit there, alright, and let's see, what else, oh, I missed one thing, we're going to go back over here to the... 
over here. Now this right there is an original poster from the Hot Wheels Championship Derby uh, from Texas. Had someone send me that. I'm, I'm still going to do a, a whole article on that one of these days. But there's a whole bunch of cool, cool stuff that goes with that poster. A uh, bunch of pictures and stuff when my books first came out and how well they were selling. And there is, let's see, which one is that? Yep, number one best-selling Hot Wheels book. When my original Hot Wheels book came out, it was the best-selling Hot Wheels book for quite some time. And... Uh, it sold out and went into reprint and sold out again. And the rest, my friends, is history. So there we go. And that is my Hot Wheels room and everything that I can fit, squeeze, and put in this room for now. And uh, I hope you had a good time. And I hope it's what you were all looking for. So I really appreciate everybody asking about my collection. So thank you very much. Thanks for stopping by Hot Wheels TV today. Really appreciate that. Hope you enjoyed the tour of my Hot Wheels room. Um, you know, one of the important things uh, right now is we can't go anywhere. So at least you guys got to come to my house for a little while. Which uh, leads me to, you know, stay home. If you don't have to go anywhere, don't go. No need to get sick, all right? Once this whole thing is over, we can all cruise around looking for Hot Wheels and have fun, all right? Cool. So until the next time we see you right here at Hot Wheels TV, please take care of yourself. Please share our videos. Please tell your friends, and please stay safe and be kind to one another. All right, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.